Y'all already know we got to keep up with all the racism. Just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? In case you didn't hear about this, I don't know where this is at. I think it might be California. Oh, no, Indianapolis. Is that Indianapolis, Indiana, right? Listen, all I got is a um, is a um, associate's degree, okay? All right. It says, new hip-hop cookie shop downtown stirs up racial controversy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not racism this early in the damn morning. Go back. A newly opened hip-hop cookie shop is creating a buzz, but not in a good way. I mean, it's got Sandoval takes us into this cookie shop and takes a deep dive and tells us why the business is in hot water. Cookie Plug's opening week was anything but sweet, with some Hoosiers calling their marketing strategy racist or Hoosier. misappropriating black culture. Those comments are hurtful, so I'm not even watching it. Doreen Waters and her husband Michael opened up a cookie shop on Mass Avenue. It's a California franchise called Cookie Plug. It has graffiti on the walls, hip hop references, and phrases in slang usually associated with drugs. We selling cookies. That's all we're doing. But the details are there from boxes with money and references like thank you for supporting your neighborhood dough dealer, cookies <laughs> called fatties, and a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you colors. Yeah, you mad. The racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Oh, no. Y'all should be happy as a clam or what is it? A pig in ish. Okay. This is awesome sauce. You heard? So now all of a sudden, because you ninjas didn't come up with anything, you mad that the white people had the nerve and the all damn audacity to use your own crap that you love, that you reference, that you take everywhere that you go. But because the white people did it, now it's an issue. How they do, where they do that at? Where they do that at? Shout out to, um, how Chicago, man, in Indianapolis? If you don't go on back over there with Big Tiff, you need to go on back with Big Tiff, okay? Shout out to Chicago, man. I appreciate you, hon. Let, let's hear that again, white woman. Watch it. Doreen Waters and her husband, Michael, opened up a cookie shop on Mass Avenue. It's a California franchise called Cookie Plug. It has graffiti on the walls, hip-hop references, and phrases in slang usually associated with drugs. We selling cookies. That's all we're doing. But the details are there from boxes with money and references like Boxes with money and reference. Boxes of money, the thing that says nice and thick and that purple, is that purple haze is what it said? Whatever, whatever that said. Now that's a problem. How? How is this? How is this racist? This, this is what y'all want. This is what you ninjas want. This is what you love. This is what you support. This is what you talk about all the damn time. But now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden it's racist. Oh, but when we talk about sexy red, leave it alone. You need to let her make her coin. My man. My But that's okay. But that sexy red stuff is okay. And and Sukiyana and 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 whoever like child, I don't know these rappers, child, but I know they be talking about Ling and and Freen, child, whatever the hell they be talking about. All the D-R-U-G references, all the ass shaking. Remember the rapper that had all them women around him and they all happy to be effing him all over the place. Remember when they, he was dog walking Suki and, and whoever, probably Sexy Red, and y'all like it and you love it and it's great and let her make her coin. He's making his coin. Oh my God. Now it's because it's the what people. How many rappers have you seen with a bunch of money? Sexy Red, don't she do that? 
Don't Sexy Red put money next to her ear all damn time, but that's okay. But this is not okay. Help me understand what the problem is. Can y'all admit what the actual problem is for y'all? It's that what people do it to, except for they took it, they marketed it, they opened a real business, and they making money. Y'all out here freely doing the most of the most of the most that ain't making no damn sense. It ain't getting you nowhere. It ain't getting you nothing. All you're doing is giving your money up to all these people that you support. And then 10 seconds later, you don't. And then 15 seconds later, you do. And ain't nobody got time for that foolishness. You won't even take your own damn quote unquote coach. Because it's supposed to be the hip hop coach. And y'all don't even take a hold of that shit. You don't take a hold of any damn thing, but you think somebody's supposed to listen to you once they've already went and done something. Now it'll be cultural appropriation. That's cultural appropriation. It's good business sense, and clearly it's working for them. And now you niggas is mad because you didn't do it. You couldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. And now you looking like you got egg all over your damn face. Shout out to the legend in the building. Appreciate your support. He said, I want my voice like Theo Coop. So I'm getting a BBL voice. Love you, Messi. F those cookies. We're the black ones. Black cookie. Black cookies matter. <laughs> you crazy. Shout out to the legend in the building. I see you, hon. Always good to see you. Appreciate you. Shout out to Mama Gemini. Thank you, hon. She said, that's my old boss. Are you serious? Are you? She's serious. I used to work for her. Is she racist? That's all we want to know. Is she racist? Is she being racist? Because, child, we know racism is every damn where. I'll silence you. That's a form of slavery. I feel like a slave sometime in this building. Well, maybe she's not being a racist because she's maybe she's not racist because she's doing this. But clearly she was able to make this into a business. OK, shout out to Mama Gemini for another five. She says she used to have an Amazon driving company and saw fire me when I got pregnant. She is obsessed with Harley Quinn. Oh, that's why her hair is that color. Well, look like she know how to make a business happen, though. Shout out to you. You should have sued her. Sued her from racism. Shout out to Chocolate Bunny in the building. She gifted a membership. Shout out to you for being here. Thank you so much, hon. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you got the membership, please make sure you thank Chocolate Bunny in the chat. Thank you so, so, so much, hon. Shout out to Decline Management. Oh, wow man is up in here. I see you. I appreciate you. He said the gentleman's lounge and cigar bar is open. Everybody, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. He is referencing Messy Michon Reacts channel. I'm streaming on both channels today. Make sure you like both. Subscribe to both. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Decline Management. Shout out to TQS up in here, up in here. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, honey. He said, I support Michon. Now give me my money back. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I see that's what I'm talking about. Best chat on YouTube. Half damn crazy. Just be over here insulting me all damn time. But I appreciate your support. Troll extraordinaire. Him and uh, skinny boy, 20 boy. If he shows up, everybody throw tomatoes at him. Shout out to Jay Gray in the building. I see you. I appreciate you, honey. He said B-dubs wearing Becky hair. Cultural appropriate, though. I ain't even get to that part yet, Jay Gray. You already know. You know. Just this, just the black are allowed to do things. No one is allowed to do anything else. Shout out to Mama Gemini for another two. She said her old driving company is called Happy to Deliver. Well, shout out to her for all the businesses. She over here doing the damn thing. Okay. Let's hear the rest, child. Mm, mm, mm. Like, thank you for supporting your neighborhood dough dealer. Cookies called fatties and a drink called purple drink. I mean, I grew up during this time and I, I never have done drugs. Purple drink is just that. It's a purple drink. It's lemonade. But for people who grew up with hip hop culture, Purple Drink was a reference to a deadly drug mix some rappers would drink. When the franchisee is not a, a deadly drug that rappers would drink. <laughs> a deadly drug that rappers would drink. That's your hip hop culture. That's your hip hop culture. So as long as they're doing it, as long as they're using it, as long as they're talking about it, it's okay. But as soon as she and her husband talk about it, now it's a problem. Aware of what these, uh, ter- what the terminology is dealing with, and to be honest, 
tropes that are used to as gimmicks to sell people lemonade and sell children lemonade, that is absolutely a problem. For Ray Phillip. So it's a problem because the kids might see it, hear it, buy it, or something like that. So you're telling me it's the kids that's going into the donut shop by themselves. And now they might be affected. But as long as they're listening to the the music that's saying exactly what she's selling, that's okay. Make it make sense. Anybody? Bueller? 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 It's just another Negro trying to bust down on somebody else because they didn't take the the initiative to go and do it for their damn selves. So, of course, now it's a problem because the white people... Did it? I'ma silence you. That's a form of slavery. I feel like a slave sometime in this building. This is speaking up because hip hop is synonymous with black people and culture. He wants the company to do better, maybe get rid of references to drugs. Why is the in- now he wants her to do better, but he don't want hip hop culture associated with niggas to do better. <laughs> Help me understand what I'm missing. Is it me? You know, I always ask, maybe it's me. Is it me? Is it me? Or it's just another nigga trying to toss a wrench into somebody else's plan because you was too lazy to do it. I said that. I meant it. Entire uh, theme of the organization based off of drug references and terminology. Um, You're painting a picture that hip hop and drugs are synonymous, which is not the truth. Hip hop and drugs are synonymous, but that's not true. (laughs) Is hip hop and drug synonymous? Anybody, Bueller? Answer me that question. Are hip hop and drugs synonymous with one another? As they just explained that the purple haze is what rappers used to walk around with in their cups, Lil Wayne and Future, if I'm not mistaken, used to walk around with a double cup. I remember that, a double cup. But now all of a sudden it's a problem. Mm, mm, mm. These white people, uh, 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 is she, empo- she employed a black woman? Mama Gemini, is that you? She employed a black woman and she giving jobs? <laughs> so this man is out here trying to mess it up for the black woman who got a job over here. Mm, mm, mm. Chai's owner, Eric Martinez, says it's really about freedom of expression. Well, I think that's exactly my point, right? Like, you can be a proud American, just, and you can love hip-hop, and you can love cookies, and you can love graffiti, right? Like, you don't have to be in a box. He makes references to 50 Cent. And he said America's got a thing for this gangster-ish, um, and, and they do, right? Like, that's what they like, so... Um, that's why when I started the cookie, I was like, well, let's make a cookie shop gangster. That's really all it is. Hip hop legend LL Cool J is one of the investors in Cookie Plug. <laughs> and oh, plans- hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You're trying to tell me that now I have to give up one of my favorite good looking rappers from back in the day. The person I'm still in love with to this day. I got to give him up because he invested in these people. Hell no. (laughs) Hell no. So LL Cool J is a rapper and he invested in these people. But now you got this nigga coming through here talking about it's not right. It's not fair. That's not what hip hop is. But one of the people that basically is one of the originators, not originators, but the early Early hip hop people is invested in him and he don't have a problem, but you got a problem with it. I tell you, you niggas will color all over the daggone place to ruin stuff just because you ain't got nothing else better to do. Can you go get a job, please? Can you go get a job? Can you find something else to do in your life besides worry about what the hell other people are doing to get your own shit together? I'm confused. Maybe it's just me, child. Of course, it's me. I know it's me. I'm the out of problem. Out of problem. Shout out to the squeegee kid. Thank you so much, hon. Always good to see you. Thank you so much. He says saying hip hop and drugs don't go together is like saying Florida Evans not smashing dishes at random isn't true. Damn, damn, damn. 
And now Florida slammed them dishes because she was dealing with James. Come on now. Give Florida a break. To open 30 shops of his own. Customers I spoke to today don't seem to have a problem. It looks good so far. I haven't tasted anything yet. So one that's the um Goodwill um Dougie Fresh. Shout out to the TQS. Thank you. He said boo. Goodwill Fat Joe. Boo. This is Goodwill um Dougie Fresh. They got everybody in town. <laughs> they got everybody in town, child. Once I get there, then, you know, I'll probably be back if they're good enough. And I'll turn them on to other co-workers and other people. There is a steady influx of diverse customers willing to try the new cookie shop. And the owner told us that since they've opened, one customer said they were offended. I'm iTeamates, Kat Sandoval, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook. Girl, what is your name? I don't even care. But anyway... <laughs> So everybody ain't going to be happy. So if they've been in business, they got one complaint effort and move on. I wouldn't stop shit. I wouldn't give him the time of day. I don't give a damn what that man think. He looking half damn crazy. F him. Okay. Go open your own shit. Cause it sounds like it might be a damn franchise, but that would be too much. Cause you know, it costs money in order to open up a franchise and open up a real business child. But you know how you coloreds do shout out to coloring all day, every day and half the damn night. Mm -hmm. Moving on, child. Moving on. Let's... Are we tired of lies? We do not care. 